Hello, it's Mike Levin from MikeLevinSEO.com. Deep in the thick of this gropey project on GitHub that can teach you Python from scratch, but gets quite advanced quickly, but I'm trying to capture every step in the video. And the step we're up to now is that now, we've, now that we've discovered some fairly difficult to discover things, reaching in through inspection to some of these uh, internals of uh, the Python operating environment. We need to shuttle the information we discovered over to somewhere where it's going to be really easy to check over and over and over. So that means another dictionary object. Dictionaries, as you might be seeing by now, are infinitely useful. Name value pairs. Uh, lists and tuples and other stuff are useful, but uh, dictionaries are really useful. So I am going to uh, put fargs equals open curly bracket, close curly bracket. That's the notation for an empty dictionary. And by the time it gets to if f name and globals, it knows that it has uh, a, a, an index, a name, a key for it, a key value pair. So we go fargs, and we stick it in as the index f name. Now here's the interesting part. We're making another dictionary of dictionaries. So for every function, it's going to have a list of its uh, attributes, its arguments, uh, and that is another dictionary. So we need to repeat that process. See that? And now I'm actually going to just go down to the bottom of this looping block, go to the most outdented position on it, and then I'm going to print fargs. And that's going to be our first step because um, I want to see the dictionary of dictionary sort of structure before I start filling it in. And it is this guy here, Lumberjack. It discovered Lumberjack, and there is an empty dictionary for Lumberjack. So let's see if we can't put in those parameter arguments for Lumberjack and then put a second function in that does uh, something uh, similar so that we can see it for two. And uh, da, 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 da. whenever we discover uh, an empty parameter, oh, that's required. Uh, now this is the one that's going to be easy to fill in because we actually have a value there, the, the default. So let's start with that. And then uh, yeah, very similar to above, fargs, function name, and then we need one more key, which in this case is do, 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 parameter name, p name. And because we're in the part where a default was in fact discovered, we can set it to parameter default. And that's something we should be able to run and see now. Lumberjack should have two items on it. Yes, play, colon empty, and status, colon okay. Wow, I love when things go so smoothly. Now for the tricky part. Name value pairs. The value is required, I believe, because if you don't, you're going to get something in the value spot, and empty is a val valid default value. So we're going to try using Python's nomenclature for none. It is even less than empty. Uh, okay, so it's very much like this. Let me put it there. It should be as simple as none, right? Escape colon W, and then pipe it into the Python interpreter. And we've got lumberjack colon status OK, job none, and play empty. Yay! 
Now let's put one more function in here so that we can test a few different uh, use cases. And instead of lumberjack, I don't know, we'll do knights. And uh, we're going to give it uh, empty. So we can see one that's empty. But now that is not going to really show up unless it's asked for in the job. So we need to go up here. and say knights colon question mark and that's how you you ask for oh wait no in that first one it is four colon knights and then in subsequent rows you can ask for the knights function to be executed. The spaces don't really matter. Should not bother my audience with that kind of pedanticness. Okay. So Knights is being asked for in both requests, and I want to make sure I spelled it the right way down here, plural. And of course, they say me. Um, let's see what we got. Oh, it ran, no errors. Okay. Lumberjack is a function with arguments required around. Okay, yeah, it's down here. This is this is what we want. It's a it's a dictionary of dictionaries. Knights. Completely empty. Empty dictionary. That is gonna be our you know indication of something that has no parameters. And then lumberjack has a whole bunch of parameters. So we haven't tested every case. I should have a function with one parameter and so on. But this has made for an excellent tutorial. And the key point to keep in mind here is that now I've got this uh, dictionary object at this main scoped level called FARGS that I can quickly check against whenever I encounter a function name ever again on all the row processing of the jobs. And I can quickly figure out whether it has required parameters, uh, and then look in the row to see if they're provided, and if not, give good errors and warnings. And so a lot of the scaffolding of the system is really in place. Uh, it's uh, 7.30, it took me uh, most of the day today. Uh, I might try and keep working on this. I've got a, a lot of momentum but really I'm hoping things just keep falling in place now and that this can actually be useful for you to run uh, in a day or two. Uh, that's at least my hope. Well, thanks for joining me today. Uh, if anyone you know is trying to uh, learn Python or has this need to do really flexible investigations on the internet, looking at data coming in from any sources, be it an XML feed or uh, site scraping or APIs and sort of knit it together into a, a result in a way that will ultimately live in spreadsheets so that you can do the investigation, you can set up the job in a spreadsheet, you can run it in a spreadsheet and your answers will come back in a spreadsheet. So anyway, uh, it's a bit abstract for now I know, but thanks for sticking with me and uh, I hope to talk to you again soon and don't forget to subscribe.